All right, Shalom. Kahalai and La, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakah HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. What's peace, love, and salutations to all brothers doing his work in truth and sincerity? Shalom. It's the brother at the top back again through the spirit with another lesson. Lord willing, is be edifying. And as you can see, the title says, Without Yahweh Shah, you have no foundation. You know, and oh man, these chariots are. I just seen before I started the lesson I seen a chariot in the sky it was greenish and it disappeared and I, I was just looking at another object in the sky and it was like kind of greenish and it disappeared again while I was looking right at it man <laughs> this beautiful man you know because the chariots of the Lord they out here man I see another object to my left in the sky I'm not sure if that's a chariot but you know the scripture says look up because your redemption your redemption draws not you know the lord is letting you know that he's in the midst this he's here you know what i'm saying that he's he's in the midst of america and he's gonna do what he said he's gonna fucking do man you know hey the, 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 when, he, when we see these chariots man that's an assurance that salvation is near man they're a sign of things to come I believe this also is a chair to my left, but I wouldn't know for sure because I can't really see it that good. Uh, so I don't see two chariots. It could have been the same chariot that I seen the first time just reappear and then disappear again. But, um, you know, right in the midst of this lesson, I'm starting to get a little show on the chariots, man. <laughs> uh, but it's, you know, back to the lesson. Um, it says, without Yahweh Shah, you have no foundation because Yahweh Shai is the foundation of everything that we teach. You know, throughout the scriptures, it prophesy and talks about Yahweh Shai, you know, and how his position and that he played in, in the Lord's movie. You know, like like it says, Yahweh Shai is the main character in the movie. You know, in Yahweh by, in Yahweh's movie, Yahweh Shai is the main character. You know, and Yahweh has put Yahweh Shai in a lot of positions to fulfill certain duties and fulfill certain um prophecies and fulfill certain um um uh tasks so to speak you know Yahweh Shai has been from the beginning all throughout the bible it talks about Yahweh Shai because he is the word now when you look into that word world you know that word world i'm gonna stop no that word word it's like it you know you it'll give uh it's it's gonna get into it through the spirit you know lord willing you know um it, it be edifying. I'm gonna I'm look into that word, but Yahweh Shai is the foundation of everything, man. You know, through his father, because his father put him in that position. So, without, with, you know, by the end of this lesson, Lord willing, you know, this, you brothers be edified and sisters, you know, that's out there that's believing in Yahweh Shai, man. You know, um, let's start in the book of um, Psalms. Right now, I'm in, con I'm in congested traffic. So, at a standstill in traffic so might as well take advantage of this opportunity um psalms chapter 40 verse 7 it says then said i lo i come in the volume of the book it is written of me now you know i just thought about you know, looking at description in the nlt's let's see yeah i will say take exit 220 to florida 64 west so like you turn that shit off um psalms chapter 40 verse 7 when it says Yahweh Shai comes in the volume of the book. Because why, 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 why? Why must the blue letter act crazy on me right now? Bear with me one second, brothers and sisters. The blue letter has never done this shit before. It's, some, it's the Satan, man. It says, passage was not loaded in time tell. That's what I was going to read in the fucking NLT. <sighs> I was going to read Psalms 40 and 7 in the NLT, but apparently something is going wrong with the blue letter right now, mysteriously around the time that I want to do a lesson. You know, all right, well, you know what? Let's go. Let's continue on. 
For some reason, the blue light is acting crazy right now. So, Yahweh Shah comes in the volume of the book. Barrel me, brothers. You know, Satan is fucking with my damn phone. I got three bars, but yet, blue letter not going, not, not loading right. It don't make sense. Alright, this is the word, uh, word for volume. The Hebrew word is magal, magala, magala, which means roll book writing. It says roll a roll, roll volume. Let me see. It says, let me see. Let me see what the Hebrew um, lexicon says. A volume, a book rolled together. Which is what the scriptures, you know, that that role that that Ezekiel spoke about is talking about the Bible. Um, Ezekiel three and one. It says, "Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel." So that roll. It's talking about the Bible, the scriptures. So Yahweh Shah comes in the scriptures. The scriptures telling you clearly that Yahweh Shah is in the scriptures. Okay, it says Ma Magala Ma Magala, which means roll volume. A roll. Let's go to the um the root of that Hebrew word. is from the word galal galal which means to roll roll away roll down roll together roll roll up floor to be rolled so commit roll remove seek occasion trips roll up. So that that word literally means to roll. So it says maga magala magala, which means roll book writing. And Yahweh is all throughout the scriptures. You know, and that further proves the point. Let's go back. Oh, and not an NLT one of the word. Call lion lion by Shah. Psalms 40 and 1 40 and 7 in the NLT. Then I said, Look, I have come as is written about me in the scriptures. So, all throughout this role, which is where writing, which is referencing for the scriptures, Yahweh Shai is in the scriptures, all throughout the Bible. Now, let's look up a literal meaning for the word volume. volume. Because Yahweh Shai has an important role in Yahweh, Yahweh's movie. Just like a, 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 a actor plays a role Yahweh Shai plays a role in the movie of Yah of Yahweh. It says role of parchment containing writing, which is what? The scriptures. A bound book. It says uh, a scroll book work volume or size. In the book that Yahweh Shai is in is the what the scriptures. It says role of a manuscript See literally that which is rolled. Um, see, uh, okay, the word 
volume. Okay, the word volume it says this volume. It says book, pu publication, tone, hardback, paperback, softback, uh, describing books. says a book forming part of a work or series it says the quantity or power of sound which the, um, the scriptures it's his own sound what sound doctrine <laughs> um, so basically that's it, you know, on, on the volume. So reading that in the NLT again, Psalms 40 and 7. Then said I, look, I have come as is written about me in the scriptures. Now, I'm gonna get some scriptures to prove that. Luke um, 24 and 44, let's start there. Luke 24 and 44. Twenty-four, and I'll start at forty-four. It says, "And and he said unto them, which is speaking about Yahweh Shai, these are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled. What which what should be fulfilled? The things that were written about Yahweh Shai that he was going to do when he came on the scene. He was fulfilling scriptures. It says, which were written about in the law of Moses and in the prophets." And in the Psalms concerning me. So Yahweh Shai was written about all throughout the scriptures in the pro in the book of the prophets, in the holy song, in the Psalms, in the book in and in the book of Moses. So what's that? The whole all of the scriptures. Yahweh Shai is written about in all of the scriptures. You know, in some way, form, or fashion, Yahweh Shai is talked about in the scriptures. Whether it be him becoming in the glory of his father. Or where he be being coming in the uh, playing the role of an uh, angel of deliverance, like he did, and when he came out of Egypt, Yahweh Shai was that deliverer that that led us out of the land of Egypt, man. You know, because it was Yahweh Shai coming in the glory and the power of his father, like it always has been. You know, or he might come at it might say an angel, but she was really talking about who Yahweh Shai. He's that, he's that top, top angel, you know? Which means, angel means messenger. So, another, a scripture in the Psalms that was talking about Yahweh Shai, an example is Psalms 40 and 7, or Psalms chapter 2, when it speaks about, you know what, I'm going to get it. I'm going to give a few examples on where Yahweh Shai was mentioned in the scriptures. You know what? A better example. Hold on. Um, Psalms 2 and 12 is a good example. When it says kiss the sun, which is talking about who? Yahweh Shai. Um, but I got another example that's very great. That describes very detail of Yahweh Shai. Psalms 110 and 1. Hey, this is a Psalm of David. It says, The Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord, who is, who is King David's Lord? Yahweh Shai. He's all our Lord. The scripture says he's what? The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Is not David a king? It says, Yahweh said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand. Who's at the right hand of Yahweh? Yahweh Shai. Until I make thine enemies thy footstool. You know? And another scripture that describes Yahweh Shai 
is this. Psalms 2 and 7. It's, I was looking for it, but it's right in my face. Psalms 2 and verse 6. It says, Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Who is that? Who is the Lord's king? Who is Yahweh's king? Who, who, who did Yahweh set up on that holy hill, which that hill represents government? It's a, which a small denomination, denomination of a government. And a, um, a mountain represents government also. So, the Heavenly Father has set Yahuwah up, Yahweh Shai, to be king. Verse 7, it further proves it. I will declare the decree, Yahweh has said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Who he said that to? Yahweh Shai. He said that to Yahweh Shai. Who, who, who was speaking about being the son of the Heavenly Father? This is my son in whom I am well pleased. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture. Matthew 3 and 17. And, the, and lo, a voice came from heaven, which is what? A chariot. A voice came out of the midst of a so-called UFO, saying, this is my beloved son. In him I am well pleased. Who's known as the son of the Most High, son of God? Ultimately, Yahweh Shai, but we are also sons of the living power too. That's where you get the name Yahshua Allah from. The word Yah means he. The word Shai means prince. And Allah means power. He's a prince of the power. Back in the old days, we was known as the sons of God. The, you had the three classifications of men. You had the sons of God, the sons of men, and the sons of the wicked. And we fall under the category of what? Sons of the Most High. You know, Matthew 17 to 5. It says, While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, which is what? A so called UFO. And behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. So the father is pleased with the son. That's why, yeah, got it, got it. So, just referring to the begotten, he's referring to Yahweh Shah. And further proof is right here. Uh, Hebrews chapter 1, verse 5. It said, when you read up, it's talking about Yahweh Shah. You know what? I'm going to read the first verse, then I'm going to read the fifth verse. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 it says God who in at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in times past unto unto uh, to, to the fathers by the prophets hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son whom we have appointed who he hath appointed heir of all things so Yahweh Shai is the heir of all things. He's going to inherit all things. Why? By whom he made the world? Because Yahweh Shai and the angels have the, had the charge, the authority to make the world, make the world through his father, man, through the spirit and power of his father. Yahweh Shai is the one that made everything that we we see every day. You know the animals you know everything that coexists everything that's created the sun the moon it, all of these things was created by Yahweh Shah and the angels through the Heavenly Father's power Yahweh so of course Yahweh gets the glory for you know creating the heavens and the earth because he did it with his power you know through his son um, so let's jump down to verse 5 it says that shows it's talking about Yahweh Shah I just want to get that to the point verse 5 says for unto whom it's like it says un, for unto which of angels said he at any time thou art my son this day have I begotten thee and again I will be to him a father and he shall be to me a son so that's the rhetoric that's the question who did the Lord Yahweh make that statement about he was talking about Yahweh Shai he didn't he, he didn't make that he didn't tell that to the angels which well Yahweh Shai is an angel you know 
but he's like the top top angel. You no. Know? He said that to his son Yahweh Shai, man. You know? That's who he made that statement towards. So um That right there proves that Psalms 2 and 7 is talking about Yahweh Shai. Let's go to Book of John, chapter 5, verse 38. John chapter 5 verse 22 and then go to 28 John 5 and 22 it says from it's yeah this is Yahweh Shah speaking which is written in red it says for if the father judges no man but hath committed all judgment unto the son why because the scripture says all power has been given to me in heaven and in earth Yahweh Shah is calling the shots through his father it says that all men should honor the son even all they even as they honor the father he that honored the son honor so like he that honored not the son honor not the father which had sent him so there's clearly a yahweh and yahweh 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 plays a very important role you know he is the one that set up his son in the position that he's in so if you want to go through the, you want to get to the heavenly father, you have to respect and honor the son. Because those, they they are on the same page. When it says they are one, that means they, they are one accord. They of the same mind. They have a common, common ground. They're on the same page, you know. So they're not disagreeing with one another. They're on the same page. That's what it means when they mean they are one, you know, one in mind. That's how the church has to be. We all have to teach the same thing. We all have to be on the same page. The scripture says, can two lock, walk together lest they be agreed? You know? No. Because if you disagree with something, with, you know, amongst each other, y'all are not going to walk together because y'all have different, y'all disagree. So that's why the father and the son, they are, they are agreed, you know? And the father, who is Yahweh, has set up the son in the position that he's in. So you have to respect him. You have to honor him or you're not honoring if you don't honor the father you don't honor the son you don't honor the son you don't honor the father because that's the position that yahweh put him in you know reiterating you know repetition is the father's skill uh jumping down to john chapter 5 verse 32 is it 32 oh it's 39 john 5 and 39 it says search the scriptures for in them ye think ye have eternal life and they are which testify of me an example of that example of the scriptures testifying of Yahweh Shai ever, ever since Genesis ever since the beginning the scriptures has been speaking about Yahweh Shai you know when it, uh, Genesis 49 is an example a scripture shall come out of Judah and a ruler out of Israel who is that? Yahweh Shai. So the scriptures are what testify of Yahweh Shai. That means witness. The scriptures bear witness of Yahweh Shai. Acts 17 and 31. And we believe, and we believe, if you believe the scriptures, if you believe in Yahweh Shai, you believe the scriptures because Yahweh Shai is written about to all throughout the scriptures. Acts chapter 17, verse 31. I'm going to start at 30. It says, And the times... I'm going to start at 29. It says, For as much then as we are the offspring of the Most High. What is that? Sons of the Most... Sons of God. That, that's what that means. If we're if if a man have an offspring, what is that? That's his son. You know? We are we are the offspring of the most high. We are the sons of the most high. That's what he's explaining. It says, We ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone, graven by art and men's device. 
in the time in the times of this ignorance the most high winked at but now commanded all men everywhere to repent because he has appointed at the a, appointed a day in in the which he would judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he hath ordained whereof he hath given assurance unto all men in that he hath raised him from the dead now who was that who was raised from the dead Yahweh shy that is who we, that is talking about so this is another example on Yahweh shy being spoken about in the scriptures and he's all throughout these scriptures another example let's go to the book of um Micah Micah chapter is it five yeah, this is Micah chapter 5 verse 1. It says, Now gather thyself in troops, O daughter of troops. He hath laid siege against us. They shall smite the judge of Israel with a rod upon the cheek. But thou, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, though thou be the little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from old from everlasting now that that lets you know it's not talking about any regular ruler it's not talking about any regular king this is his going forth has been from everlasting that means he's been here since the beginning let me see uh acts 17 and um Um, Acts 17 and 31 in the NLT it says for he has set a day for judging the world with justice by that man he hath appointed and he proved to everyone who this is by raising him from the dead booyah yeah, I was shot um, Micah chapter 5 verse 2 in the NLT it says but that it says, but you, O Bethlehem, Ephrathah, are only a small village among all the people of Judah. Yet a ruler of Israel will come from you, one whose origins are from the distant past. Luke 6 and um, 48. So, you know, if you have eyes to see, you have ears to hear, you will see exactly what the Spirit is trying to tell you. Luke, well, you know, then you'll see what this, the Scriptures is trying to tell you through the Spirit. That's a better way to put it. Luke, chapter 6, verse 48. It says, He, he is like a man that built a house. You know what? Verse 47 says, I'm going to start at 47, which is the point. Whosoever cometh to me, this is Yahweh Shai speaking, and heareth my sayings, sayings and do them, I will show you, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which buildeth a house and dig deep and laid the foundation upon a rock. And when the flood flood arose, the steams beat vehemently, vehemently upon that house, and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. That rock is Yahweh Shai. You know, Yahweh Shai. We're setting our foundation upon Yahweh Shai, which is that rock. Without Yahweh Shai, we have no foundation. Verse 49. But he that heareth and do not is like a man that without that without a foundation built a house upon the earth against which the streams did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. So that Yahweh Shai is telling you, if you hear his words and do them, you will be set straight. You will be, your foundation is, is set upon him and you will be on stable ground. But if you hear the words of the Lord and you don't do them, you're ultimately going to be destroyed. And if you also suck it to add point on hearing it, 
speaking in the words and doing them, that'll lead to what? Salvation. Because you'll be what? You'll be safe from calamity. You'll be safe from the things that's coming upon the world. So if you hear the works and you do them, you'll be safe. But if you don't, you hear the works and don't do them, you're not going to be safe. You know? To put in lamest terms. So let's look up that word world. That word world. Word, that word word. <laughs> know I'm feeling real feel good about this lesson <laughs> um, let's go to the book of John chapter 1 John 1 and 1 in the NLT says in the beginning the word already existed the word was with the most the most high and the word was the most power well you know let me read it again John 1 and 1 in the beginning was the word no in the beginning the word already existed the word was with power and the word was a was a power he existed in the beginning with power power created everything through him and nothing was created except through him which this is when you go to Genesis 1 and 1 this is backing up Genesis 1 and 1 and they're speaking about Yahweh Shai and how Yahweh Shai and the angels which if you look at that word God in the Hebrew it means Allah Hayyam, which means powers or angels which Yahweh Shai and the angels had the authority had the charge like I said before of creating the heavens and the earth so this backs up what it says in Hebrews when it says by him he also made the world because Yahweh Shai is the one that had the the, um, that was in the beginning that was creating the world now when, let's look up that word look let's look up word it comes from the Hebrew word no Greek word Strong's G 3000 trying to get this eat my Strong's G 3056 Lagos I can't hear him. Lagos but it says uh what well, it looks like it says Lagos which means It says a word uttered by a living voice embodies in country or idea. It says what someone has said, a word, sayings of the most high, agree, degree, you know. The moral, it says, of the moral precepts given by the most high. That's a good one. Discourse, act of speaking. It's gonna get deeper. It says doctrine, teaching. Now that's a good, now that's a good um good um, definition for the, the, the word the word in the beginning was the word doctrine teaching but it, it actually gets deeper than that here it is right here I read it last night it says in John in John denotes the essential word of the most high Yahweh Shai HaMashiach because he is the word Yahweh Shai is the word so John 1 and 1 and also Genesis this backs up Genesis 1 and 1 when it speaks about the mo in the beginning there was you know it's speaking about Yahweh Shai the powers that created the heaven was Yahweh Shai the angel and John denotes that the essential word of God Yahweh Shai Mashiach the personal wisdom and power in union with the Most High his minister in creation and government of the universe the cause of all the world's life both physical and, and ethical which in the procurement of man's salvation put a put on human nature in the person of Yahweh Shai, the Messiah the second person in the Godhead and shown forth conspicuous hold on conspicuously from his words and deeds so that is a good example of proven that this God Greek word logos logos or is talking about Yahweh Shai because he comes in the volume of the book he's all throughout the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation Yahweh Shai is all in the scriptures and some instances it doesn't come out directly and say his name but through the context of the scriptures you will get the understanding that it's only one person that actually does all of these things and it's the same man it's the same spirit which is Yahweh Shai so 
landing back on what I made a statement earlier, without Yahweh Shai, you have no foundation because Yahweh Shai is the foundation of all of the scriptures. If you don't, if you read in the Bible and you don't believe in Yahweh Shai, you might as well put the fucking Bible down because he is written about all throughout the scriptures. He is explained about and talked about all throughout the scriptures of him returning and him doing wonderful things for Israel, not for nobody else. So this is just, uh, you know, uh, Lord willing, man, this lesson was edifying, and you know, Lord willing, you, you know, you understand the the message that the, the you know the, the scriptures is clearly explaining to you through the Spirit. You know, Yahweh Shai is the scriptures. He is the living embodiment of the Word, man. You know, Yahweh Shai is the walking Word. He is the walking scriptures. You know. <laughs> Because he is the word of the Most High. There's no other way to put it. Yahweh Shai knows the scriptures. Because he is the word. He is the scriptures. You know, when he said, eat my flesh and drink my blood. John 6 and 51. Four, 51. It says, I am the living, you know what, John 6, number 4 is 45, it says, it is written in the prophets, and they, and they shall be taught of the Most High, every man therefore that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me, not that, not that any man hath seen the Father, save he which is of the most high he had seen the father which he was talking about himself verily verily i say unto you he that believeth on me hath everlasting life i am that bread of life your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead this is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And, and the bread that I would give is my flesh, which I give for the life of the world, which that world is talking about. Yeah, that world is talking about Israel. So Yahweh Shai is the bread of the Most High. And if we eat of that bread, which means if we believe on him, then we will obtain salvation. You ever heard the term food for thought? Well, this is spiritual food that will actually have you living, which is what the scriptures. Yahweh, the scriptures is that bread, man. And Yahweh Shai is symbolic with the scriptures because he is the word. He is the word. You know, I can't make it more clearer, man. It cannot be more clear than that. If you eat the, if you eat of Yahweh Shai, that means you you eating of the word, you eating of the scriptures. You're you're studying, you're you you're um you're learning the scriptures. You're learning Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh Shai in the scriptures is symbolic because they're one and the same. So if we believe on Him, that means if we're eating of that bread, then we will have eternal life. Verse 52, the Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Which they was, they was, they was on a very small level. You know, they, they thought he was talking about cannibalism, but no, he wasn't talking about that. That was a stumbling block to them. You know, he thought they was talking about cannibalism, but he was talking about in a spiritual sense. Believing on him is basically eating of that bread. You know, just like, you know, when Ezekiel, the Lord told Ezekiel to eat that roll, this it, it's basically saying the same thing. There, they, they are, Yahweh Shai is saying the same thing that Ezekiel said. What the Lord said to Ezekiel, eat of this roll, which is what that scripture is. And Yahweh Shai is saying, eat of my flesh, which is talking about, uh, talking about the scriptures. Because he is the word. He is that bread of the most high. Verse 53. Then Yahweh Shai said unto them, verily, verily, I say unto you, except that, Except ye eat the 
flesh of the son of the man of son of man and drink his blood you have no life in you which is not literal it's a dark saying speaking about if you believe on him you believe in your Shai, you teach your Shai. you know you read and believe in the scriptures and in the doctrine that he's laying down that is that talk that is what that is talking about but they stumbled over it because they there was on a low level verse 54 whosoever eat my flesh and drink my blood hath eternal life and i will raise him up in the, at the last day for my flesh is is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed he that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and i in him i as the living father has sent me and i live by my father so he that eateth me even hath he shall live by me which he that believeth on Yahweh is going to live with him live by him this is that bread which came down from heaven not as your fathers did did eat manna and are dead he that eateth of this bread shall live forever so if we eat if we believe on Yahweh Shai we will uh, we will obtain salvation man because Yahweh Shai is that bread he is that spiritual bread that we need he came to what he quickened us that word quickened means to make alive through what his sacrifice you know when he came and sacrificed himself he made he brought us to life and if we believe in him we will have eternal life because he is that manna that he's that bread from heaven that will lead us to life you know he's that spiritual meat that spiritual bread which is talking about what the scriptures proverbs 6 and 23 it says for the commandment is a lamp and the law is light and reproves of instruction are the way of life because these scriptures they make us alive you know Revelations 2 and 10. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Because Yahweh Shai, if we believe in Yahweh Shai, we will obtain eternal life, man. You know, it's very simple. James chapter 1. James 1 and 21. It says, Wherefore, it says, Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and sufluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. Be ye, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. And that's exactly what Yahweh was explaining. If you hear my works and do them, you will Lord will you will attain salvation. But if you don't, you, you, you'll be destroyed, man. Because Yahweh Shai is that king that the Lord set up. You know, I hope this, you know, I hope uh, I'm not losing anybody. Uh, this is a lad precept. Damn it, I forgot what I was going to get. Oh, Luke 19 and 27. It says, But those my enemies, which would not that I should over them, bring hither and slay them before me. So, you know, Yahweh Shai is coming back in these last days. He's coming to kill a lot of people. You know, if you don't believe in him, you, will be, you ultimately will die, man, you know? Because Yahweh Shai, he said it right here in the scriptures. You don't want him to reign over you, you're going to die. We don't have no problem with Yahweh Shai reigning over us because we know he's suitable for that position. These, these niggas would rather have Esau, Esau ruling over them instead of Yahweh Shai. But we would rather have Yahweh Shai ruling over us, man, you know?
because we know he's profitable and he's going to do what righteousness you know he's going to do righteousness in the earth so with that man lord you better edify with this lesson i'm gonna close out but you know i'm praising the glory to yahweh by hashem yahweh shah by hashem rakah hakodash double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone rule teach well much peace love and salutation to all the brothers doing this work and truth and sincerity with that i'm gonna say shalom call me out shalom wa'abababa wa'abababa shalom